New York. I'm going to show you how to pick up a multifamily rental that you don't got to touch, you don't got to do anything. You're going to make some money and you don't even have to spend $30,000. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV. I'm going to show you. I'm banging into the set here. I'm going to show you how. To knock the set down. No, no. I'm going to show you how to pick up a rental property for less than $30,000. I'm going to show you how to pick up a multifamily rental property that you don't have to touch. You could do the whole thing from New York. You don't even have to come to the city where the property is because my team, we're going to handle all that due diligence for you the same way we're doing it for my man, Augie, who is an investor from New York who's sick of paying Extremely high prices. Sick of paying extremely high property taxes. Sick of having the government step into his business with things like rent control. So he hooked up with us. He hooked up with Holton Wise because we help folks like him, folks like you, pick up properties in the markets where they make sense. And we do the due diligence, right? It starts here with this show. I'm as transparent as can be, man. I'm going to give you the good, the bad, the ugly. You don't believe me? Check out the content, right? It's pretty raw, real, and unfiltered, right? And then after the sale, if the sale goes through, my team, we're here for you for property management, maintenance, construction, landscaping, plumbing, title insurance, rental property insurance, right? If you're a landlord and you got property in Ohio, hit us up at sales at holtonwise.com. We can lower your premium because all we do is, is work with investors. I ain't trying to insure your boat. I ain't trying to insure your fucking vacation home. I ain't trying to insure your fucking California mansion. No, no, no. We're insuring your Ohio rental properties, and that is it, folks. That's what we do. Enough of that. Augie, you don't want to listen to me talk about rental property insurance. You want to get the information. You want to get the numbers. You want to see what type of money you can make, and I'm going to give that to you right after this. You might be wondering why I'm walking around in a bikini. Because this is America, that's why. Land of the free, home of the brave, the land of opportunity. Like the opportunity to click the link below and connect with motivated sellers nationwide. Welcome back. Let's do what we all came here to do, right? Pull up the property. Which, by the way, folks, if you are going to be someone who's interested in learning more about this market and eventually you want to invest in real estate, there's a few things you need to do. Obviously, subscribe or follow to Holton Wise TV wherever you get your Holton Wise TV, be it YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, whatever. But also on our YouTube channel, you can go ahead and click the Join button and then you can become a VIP member for $4.99 a month. You will get access to all of our publicly available content as well as premium VIP member only content, including over 900 MLS search and analysis shows, right? So if you really want to learn the market, check that out. And then after you absorb all that info, if you want your own customized video like this one, shoot my team an email, give us your number. But enough of the sales pitch. Let's talk about this property, okay? 4426 Woburn Avenue, Cleveland, 44109. Old Brooklyn neighborhood, been on the market five days, priced at $119,900. Now, I love the old Brooklyn area. C-grade area, solid C-grade area. When I was a very young man, my brother and myself actually grew up in this neighborhood a few streets away, so we're very familiar it's an area where I recommend you go with either cash paying tenants or Section 8 tenants. You can do both. I probably would say I prefer the Section 8 because with everything that's happening in the world, yeah, coronavirus, this, that, the job market, it's like your cheat code to consistency, right? That's the biggest thing with these lower income neighborhoods, right? People, for whatever reason, can't pay rent, which leads to evictions, vacancies, more repairs, more leasing fees. It's just a hassle. It's a problem for investors. Nip it all. Nip it all in the bud right there, right up front, right? Go with the Section 8. Now, this particular property, okay, it's got one legacy tenant paying below market rent, and then it's got 
Uh, another vacant unit, which is totally renovated, right? The current owner has put this thing all together, right? We got fresh paint, one color paint throughout. We like to go with the agreeable gray and then the white trim, but we would do that on like a future turnover. There is no need to fix what ain't broken. So that's what this particular seller did. By the way, quick little note about this particular seller, right? He's actually the father of the listing agent, and the listing agent is actually somebody I, I grew up with, right? Uh, we don't have any affiliation together in this working relationship, right? So I'm working for you and you alone. So I'm still going to pick apart every negative I see about this property. But I do uh, know the, the listing agent, okay? We actually used to skateboard back in the day when we were young guns. As a matter of fact, Steve, go ahead and Roll the footage. I think these people need to see the types of moves your boy Jay Wise was pulling out 15, 20 years ago. As you can see, folks, back in the day when I was pulling off these skateboarding tricks, I had a lot more hair and a lot less gut. But that's how life works, right? I also had a lot less real estate knowledge. So let's get back to what you came here for. Let's get back to the real estate knowledge. So with this particular unit, right? It's not broke right now, right? He renovated it. He did all one color. I would go the agreeable gray, but as I said, it's not it's not broke, so we're not going to fix it. We'll still be able to get a Section 8 tenant in here at 750. Now, when that particular tenant moves out, the subsequent renovations we're going to want to, to, to make it a little higher end. And it's not really going to draw in more than 750, but what it's going to do is reduce our turnover as much as possible. We want to reduce turnover, reduce unnecessary turnover as much as we possibly can because that's how we actually make money in this business, guys. We don't make more money by getting a couple extra bucks per month. We make more money by keeping people in our units as long as humanly possible, right? Which, by the way, we have new mechanicals in this house, right? I'll read you the write-up from the listing agent in a little bit, right? But we got new furnaces, new hot water tanks, right? The stuff that makes the money. Now, this is the occupied unit, and it looks like they did do the gray, which is nice. They did do the gray with the white. I'm still going to pick apart this property, though, like I said, what I don't like to necessarily see is carpet. Obviously, we wouldn't go into this tenant's unit and rip out their carpet, but at the next turnover, we'll probably want to pull that par carpet, spend a few thousand dollars and buff those hardwoods so you don't have to mess with the floor between every few tenants, right? But uh, they definitely did a higher-end upgrade on this particular unit than they did the upstairs one, so I like it, okay? Uh, so all in all, just a pretty solid unit, Right, you're not going to really need to put any money into it. Here is that uh, vacant one, okay? So here's what we got. It's all looking pretty good, right? So more or less turnkey. As far as what the listing agent said, uh, let me give that to you guys as well because they really did put some money into this thing. Amazing investment or owner-occupant opportunity awaits. The downstairs unit is occupied and upstairs is recently remodeled and vacant. Perfect for someone looking to own a great property and live there for very little. Investors, with all the major expenses done, this is a great portfolio addition. The duplex features two units with so two bed, one bath in each. Plenty of updates, including new roof. Now, roofs, folks. Roofs like this, it's about $7,000 roof. They last about 30 years. Okay, that's good. All right, newer furnaces. They last about 30 years. They cost about 3 k You need two of them, right? So that's 6 k right there. Hot water tanks, two of them. They cost about 1 k a piece. They last about 15 years. Brand new windows in 2021, which is great because that really is going to avoid dealing with a lot of lead-based paint stuff. And, of course, Section 8 likes you to have the new vinyl windows. Upstairs unit has a new bath and kitchen and carpet in 2021. Both units are freshly painted and new plumbing throughout the whole house. Great location, nothing to do but move right in or rent the top unit and start collecting rent. Act fast. Now, act fast, right? This guy's right, okay? This guy's right. Cleveland right now, prices, demand, it's all over the place. Like prices are going up because there's so many investors that are trying to get in here, right? Because other areas of the country, prices are just becoming untenable. Here in Cleveland, they're still very affordable. They have it priced at 119.9. Now, I think we should start the bidding at 105, right? If we offer 105 and they take it, oh, that's great, that's awesome. Fucking, let's do the deal, home run. If they counter back or they say they got multiple offers, I think we're going to want to up our offer a little bit because it's very rare to find a duplex in this particular neighborhood that's got as many of the big ticket items 
taken care of as this one does, right? Usually you don't see the new roofs, new hot water tanks, right? If you don't believe me, watch any of the other 900 or so shows I've done just like this one. I break properties apart every single day. That's kind of a rarity, right? So I would start at 105, but that should be considered your basement. If you got to go up, even if you had to go all the way up to 119, it's probably still going to be a good deal because long term, it's going to bring us some money, right? Now, I know we got that one tenant in there, legacy tenant. They're paying 550. We want to slowly work them up to the 750 rent that you see on the screen, right? The empty unit, we're going to slap a 750 tenant in there right away. So 1500, 18,000. Now, you don't get to keep the 18,000, folks, right? You got fixed and variable expenses you got to account for, right? So, on the chart here, I've broken all that down. And you'll see capital expenditures, 900 a year. Now, check this. This is where this gets really good, right? It's not like you're spending that 900 a year. You're actually receiving that money, but I'm not counting it towards your return on investment numbers because I know eventually you're going to spend it, right? But we already went through the mechanicals here. The 7K roof, the $6,000 worth of furnaces, the $2,000 worth of hot water tanks, right? 15 to 30 years is what you need to, to, to start worrying about spending that money again. So what I'm doing is I'm having you budget for it. I'm having you save 900 every year until that point when you make those big purchases. So if you read between the lines, that 900 for you know the next 15 years is actually going to be in your pocket, right? And, of course, we have other things that we're accounting for, repairs, maintenance, vacancy, and then you know your taxes, insurance, PM, yada, yada. After everything, right? should deliver you a clear NOI 8573. If you get lucky enough to pick it up at 105, you'll kick in 26250, right? Less than $30,000 out of your pocket because the bank will kick in the other 78750. That would pencil out to an 18% cash on cash return or an 8.2 cap. This neighborhood, solid C grade neighborhood, Holton Wise has literally hundreds upon hundreds of investment properties in this area. Again, the tenant base, manageable enough to go cash, but I do think we are best suited to go Section 8 if you have more questions on how we manage properties, how we manage properties with Section 8 tenants. Check out the Section 8 FAC and property management FAC on HoltonWise.com and let me know if you'd like me to write up an offer on this deal. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.